Designers, this is uh, the moment you've been waiting for or dreading, the unveiling of the design brief. So this is the document that will tell you exactly what kind of product you're going to be receiving and in the end building a prototype. So what we have to create is a women's lightweight insulated windshirt. So it's for a woman between 18 and 35 years old and she's from Seattle, Washington. She works at a specialty store. She's very outdoorsy and she's coming here to Salt Lake, Project Dewar. <laughs> This is the blouse I've designed. Um, I wanted to go in a more, more like a blouse necessarily because I feel like you see a lot of, not necessarily menswear inspired, but not overtly feminine pieces in outdoor. And this is something that I feel could be worn, you know, with the khaki pants, anything like that. But you could throw on a pencil skirt with it and wear it out to dinner if you needed to. It zips up the front with a style line across the bust to really accent the figure with a collar that buttons up with a tab closure that will have a draft panel underneath. So should it be windy, you can close it up all the way to the neck. The olive green is also very retro, you know, kind of that 1940s feel. And I've got an olive green zip for the front and then contrasting red zippers and red buttons to play with the color a bit. I'm Jeannie Douglas. Um, I go to Cornell University. Um, what I thought originally was, I guess the eternal question is how to mix function and fashion. I know with the outdoor industry, it's really hard, I think, for women to find pieces that they can feel comfortable even going out at night on a rainy night. I thought a lot about also range of motion, and I also thought about how sporty she's going to be. So with range of motion, I thought about a vest. Also going along with the fact that she's late 20s, she's thinking about her figure, what she's gonna look like, um, vertical seam lines really do a lot for slimming, so I used a lot of vertical seam lines in my garments. A few years ago, I spent a, a couple of weeks in Seattle during the summer, and I have this vivid memory of being in Capitol Hill and seeing this girl, probably about my age, um, just racing down the hill, like top speed. I remember thinking, that girl's really cool. She looked really cool and just completely fearless. And so that was my inspiration. As you can see, it takes on sort of a jacket flavor. And in Seattle, I mean, the girl's in the rain a lot. So I knew it would be really important that um, whatever she wore would be waterproof. The overall color scheme, I really just like um, jewel tones in general. Hopefully I'll be able to find some fabrics that reflect that. The hood's gonna be detachable. And one problem I find when biking in the rain is if I have a hood on, I'm trying to see traffic around me. I just can't do it. It's like, you know, I think it's kind of dangerous. So I decided to find some transparent fabric and just um, create a strip so that when she does look at traffic, um, she'll be able to see it. This shirt is um, for multi-uses, not only for one extreme sport, but for also um, others. And for example, hiking or um, yoga or running or biking. So what I want to do is put a little bit of each um, sport into this shirt. And to begin with the biking, I added um, the reflectors on the, on the sides, on the shoulder and on the hip area. And also a zipper, because it's going to be a thermal insulator, so we want it to be um, you know, also windbreakers, so we don't want any air going into um, in the sweater. If you're hiking, um, you know, you, your body temperature goes up and you need something to cool down. So underneath the arm, underneath the armpit right here, there's, I'm going to have a fabric that is breathable. It's going to be very flexible. It's going to move with you. It's not going to be stiff at all, but it's going to be body hugging. I also want to make it waterproof, so it's going to have a 3X dry technology. So in case it starts raining, if you have a jacket that's not waterproof and you have this underneath, it's the water still not going to penetrate inside, so you're going to be protected from water. What makes this special is that it is a an all-utility, multifunctional uh, 
jacket because it can change according to the weather. Hopefully I can find a double separating zipper and that way you can have, an, in the colder weather, the zipper goes all the way down through the peplum, all the way to the stovepipe ne neckline and you can pull an elastic cord around the peplum, keep it really tight against everything, no wind getting through there. The sleeves are long, they also have an elastic casing and you can stay protected against the wind. And then also, because it's a utility coat, I thought maybe it would be fun to have a compartmentalized pocket on the sleeve that's for like a first aid kit. And what would designate this pocket as your little first aid pocket is 3M creates a great reflective um, logo graphic maker and a little skull and band-aids motif along the pocket, almost like a tattoo. I also really plan to incorporate 3M's uh, reflective a reflective product in a, in a graphic way with organic shapes going around each direction of the body. So flowers, power lines, skulls, and maybe the theme of risk and reward.